Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, we are going to see how to calculate surface energy of a material using density functional theory. The energy of a surface is the result of its broken bones compared to a perfect crystal, which has no surface and is repeated indefinitely in three dimensions. To calculate the free energy, we first need to have a relaxed crystal obviously, then we need to build a slab from the crystal, which I showed you how in my last video. Then we need to relax the slab, because now it has a free surface and some broken bones compared to the old crystal, and it affects the position of the atoms and bone lengths. The relaxation process should be changed compared to the unit cell relaxation. The first change is the mesh density, which is obvious because the volume of the unit cell has changed and you have added some vacuum layer, uh, so you need to change the mesh density first. The more important part is selective dynamics. Since we want just the surface atoms to be relaxed, we should fix the position of at least one bottom layer. Uh, to do so, uh, for example, in VASP, you open the postcard file and add the selective dynamics after the number of atoms. Then, in front of position of each atom, we add three letters. T means true and F means false. So if you put T, uh, T, T in front of one atom, it means that it can move in three directions of the slab unit cell in the relaxation process. Uh, so if the unit cell is cubic, it means that uh, the atom can move in A, B, C direction, which is identical to X, Y, Z direction. Uh, no, you can relax the structure and see the result. If you want to fix an atom, we use F. The relaxation can be in one, two or three direction. After that, we can relax the structure. To calculate the surface energy, we should uh, take the energy of the slab, uh, for example, from Ozikar in the last relaxation step you get the energy and uh, uh, subtract the same amount of energy for the unit cell and then divide the result uh, to the number of atoms or the surface area. It depends on what unit we want to represent the results. Uh, uh, for example, if it's uh, electro electron volts per atom or electron volt per square angstrom. There are two important points in calculating surface energy in this step. First, you need to be cautious about the number of atoms. If your slab has the same amount of atoms as the unit cell, then it's okay. But sometimes we add uh, more layers to the slab. For example, here it's twice the size of unit cell. Uh, so. Uh, you need to divide the synergy by two uh, here. A second important point is that if you want to divide the energy to surface area of uh, the slab, you should bear in mind that you have two exposed surfaces, one in top and one in bottom. So you should uh, multiply the surface area by 2. Uh, so that's it and if you, uh, you like this video and it was useful for you, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you.